What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Justice, here, and I'm back with another video. So, y'all, I'm about to make this video really quick because I got to go to work in a minute. But what I want to get on here tonight to talk about is forgiveness and trust. So, you got some people that'll, that'll hurt you and do you wrong, that'll deceive you, that'll just do just unnecessary stuff that they didn't have to do to you. Or lie to you for no reason when they didn't have to lie to you. But then they want to make you feel like that you holding a grudge and you're not forgiving them because you don't trust them again. So let me just get on here tonight and just let y'all know, because I know it's a lot of y'all that done dealt with this before. You can forgive somebody, but still not trust them. Trust is very hard to get back. Once you break trust with somebody that was always honest with you, that was genuine with you, you have to give that person time. And it, it's not your time. It's not when you say it's over or they need to be, they need to forgive you again. No, you can't do that. You have to understand that you don't know what that person been through. You don't know how that person grew up. They might then grew up in growing up with everybody around them that claim they love them and care about them hurting them. So now they're to a point where somebody do something to them, it takes them a long time to trust again. They can forgive you. They can forgive you. They can move on from it as far as letting you back in their space and giving you another chance. But that doesn't mean that that person just have to trust you again. Trust has to be earned back. It has to be earned back. And it really had to be earned from the beginning because I used to be one of those type of people where I used to be like, oh, I trust you until you give me a reason not to. But after just seeing how everybody in the world is, how people around you can really have ill motives towards you and you don't even know it, you ain't done nothing to wrong them. After getting older and realizing that, how chosen ones, how you constantly targeted by people everywhere you go, how people just want to mess over you everywhere you go, it's hard to trust. So now my whole mindset is different from I trust you until you give me a reason not to. Now I'm on some I don't trust you until you let me know I, it's safe to trust you. So you let me know I can trust you. So when you trust somebody and you earn somebody trust and then you mess over them and you deceive them or you hurt them, depending on what it is, that person can forgive you and allow you back into their life and allow you back into their energy. They can be trying to squash everything to work, to work towards building a better relationship and a friendship with you, but you cannot, you cannot force somebody to just come back in trusting you. It's, it's not going to work that way. And you have to give people that time to heal. You have to give people that time to heal because like I said, you don't know what nobody been through. This person probably really trusted you, probably thought you, they had, that you had their back. They probably had your back. They came in genuine, never told you a lie, never done you no wrong. And then for you to do something to them, especially if it was on multiple occasions, multiple occasions, and they and they being patient with you, they giving you that grace, and they letting you try to earn the trust back. You cannot force nobody to just jump right in back into nothing, trusting you. And they go for a friendship, relationship. It doesn't matter who that person is. But if you love somebody and you genuinely care about somebody and you want that person in your life, then you have to do everything that you have to do to earn that trust back. That's just how it go. You messed it up. So you have to stand on your ten and accept the fact that you're going to have to be patient with that person. And you're going to have to give them a chance to feel like they can trust you again. You're going to have to. And that's going to probably require you to work really, really hard. It's going to require you to work really, really hard. So when you out here and you trying to force yourself on somebody and you trying to force somebody to let their guard down with you, to get back into a situation with you, get back into a friendship with you, you have to understand where that person is coming from. It's not fair for you to tell somebody, oh, if you don't trust me, then you're not forgiving me and you're still trying to hold on to stuff and hold on to stuff from the past and you're not trying to move forward. No, that's not true because forgiveness is one thing. That forgiving you is saying, okay, I forgive what you've done. Okay, I decided I will let you back into my life and we can move forward from this. But forgiving somebody is not saying, okay, I forgive you and I trust you. And um, and let's just run off into the sunset. We all cool. We ain't even going to think about it no more. No. 
And it's not that somebody is holding on to the past or holding a grudge or dangling a situation over your head. That's not what it is, y'all. That's not what it is. But when people out here have been done dirty by so many people, done been hurt by the people that claim they love them, and then you got to think about uh, what play into a factor when chosen ones go out here and they being targeted by people on their job, random people. You, It's hard to trust. It's hard to trust. So when we do trust and then you break that trust, it take a lot to get it back. And I'm just being honest. It take a lot to get it back. But if you genuine and you genuinely feel bad for what you've done and you care about that person, you're going to work hard to try to earn that trust back. You're going to put it into work and whatever it takes. You're not going to try to make nobody feel like they're not forgiving you and they're holding grudges and all this and that just because they're telling you that they still don't trust you. It doesn't work like that. And it's really narcissistic of you, of anybody. And I'm not saying y'all, I'm just speaking for in general. It's narcissistic of you or of a person to try to make somebody feel like that they have to trust you again for you to feel comfortable with being in their life again. Because it kind of seems like manipulation. It kind of seems like you just want the situation to get better for you. You want to feel better about what you did. You trying to avoid that shame that come with you being disloyal and being dishonest. So you trying to hurry up and speed up the process because you just want it to be over because you don't want to face yourself in the mirror and see that maybe you a dishonest person. Maybe you not loyal. Maybe you need to figure out how you can be real and not fake. So because you don't want to deal with that feeling and those emotions, you think that you can go and tell somebody, oh, just trust me again. Just trust me again. When you forgive somebody, you trust somebody again. No, that's not true. That's not true. So, and for the ones that have a hard time trusting, for the ones that's allowing people that grace to be, to be back in their life, and you trying to forgive and everything, you can forgive, but don't let nobody make you feel bad about the fact that you're not ready to trust them again. Don't let nobody get in your ear and get in your head and try to talk you into nothing. You take your time. Because remember what I told y'all, you got to protect this. You got to protect your heart. Because it's a lot when somebody do something to you and you trust somebody and you have to come to the terms of dealing with the fact that you was just betrayed, that you was just deceived and lied to. Now, I'm like I always say, nobody's perfect. So when I get on here and I tell y'all, oh, well, you got to cut people out your life. Don't, I'm saying people that done constantly messed over you. People that you know for a fact don't have your best interests at heart that'll do you dirty and do anything to you those are the people that i'm talking about when i say you got to cut them out but sometimes you can forgive people and give people another chance because nobody perfect but that does not mean that you have to just jump back into nothing trusting nobody whether it's a friend whether it's your family member that you probably had a falling out with a few times and you thinking about letting them back in that's fine but take your time nobody can rush you and if that person is rushing you and trying to make you feel bad because you don't trust them and you they gave you a reason not to trust them, then that's still something that you have to look at about that person. You still have to, you know, evaluate that person on that because if somebody genuinely love you and somebody genuinely care about you and they done you dirty, they made a mistake with you, but you letting them back in and get them another chance, they're going to do everything they can to earn your trust back. They're going to put in the work. They're going to reassure you on whatever it is that is, is not that same situation no more. And that's what it's supposed to be like. It's supposed to be like that. So, like I said, I'm not going to be on here long because I got to go to work. But just understand that forgiveness and trust is not the same thing. You can forgive somebody and y'all can try to work towards moving forward with the friendship, with the relationship. Whether it be a family member or anything, y'all can try to work towards it. But that's exactly what it is. It's work. It's work. You have to work. You have to make sure, you know, ask God to give you the strength, to give you discernment, to see this person for who they are, to so that you can see if you can trust this person or not. It takes a lot. But don't let nobody force you to, to just let your guard down with them if you're not ready for that. Because that's a you setting yourself up for a disaster. And like I said, I used to be the type of person that be like, I trust you until you give me no reason not to. 
until I realized, okay, I'm different from the people in this world. It's a target on my back every time I walk out this door just because of who I am. Just because of the God I serve and the light that's in me. So I don't trust nobody until they show me otherwise. So my whole mentality on that has switched. And then if I forgive you, if I forgive you, then I forgive you. If I decide to let you back in and move forward, then I'm doing that. But don't ever think that I'm not still watching you. I'm not still watching how you move. I'm not still listening to what you're saying, trying to see if your actions match up to your words. That's what you got to do with people out here. Because you really can't trust nobody. And when you let somebody back into your life that done already done you wrong, you are already taking a risk. So you take your time with that and don't let nobody make you feel bad about that. So I just wanted to get on here real quick before I go to work, y'all. I know I'm kind of talking fast or whatever, but I had to get this video off before I go. Thank y'all so much to the ones that's watching my videos, that's commenting on my channel, interacting with me when I go live and stuff. I appreciate y'all so much. If y'all want to donate to this channel, then I will have the information in the description box. Be sure to continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my videos. Share my videos all around, y'all. Y'all never know who needs to hear these words and who this can help. I love y'all so much, and I thank y'all so much, and I will see y'all in my next video.